My journey with self-improvement started way back in 2019. I would say that my journey has had its ups and downs. I'm really hoping that this year is the year of breakthroughs. Physical breakthrough, emotional, psychological, financial, as well as spiritual breakthrough. I invite you to join this journey with me with hopes that my experience would also help you push yourself and reach your very own breakthrough. Hello everyone, my name is LJ from Easy Book Notes, and I welcome you to my channel. A short introduction, I have been a nurse for 11 years this year, and healthcare is all I know. My first job when I was 17 was as a certified nursing assistant, and in 2012 I graduated nursing school. After a decade of working as a nurse, and 15 years total in healthcare, I've told myself that it's time to venture out and pursue other passions get to know myself, and hopefully reach my true potential and become the best version of myself. Because as fulfilling as it may be when I help my patients get better or help them have the best quality of life or make sure that they pass away comfortably, nursing and healthcare in general is a taxing career mentally, physically, and emotionally. My goal in this channel is to educate myself further on how to reach my true potential and become the best version of myself. And I would love to share this journey with you. I want to use this channel to help me remember the main ideas in each book that I read by reiterating what I have read to you. I hope that this personal journey of self-improvement will also inspire you to reach your true potential and become the best version of yourself. So, I decided what better way to start this channel than to share my personal top 5 must-read books as a beginner in the self-improvement journey. Number 5. The Bullet Journal Method by Ryder Carroll The Bullet Journal Method started as a series of blog posts that the author wrote on his personal website in 2013. In 2015, Ryder Carroll published the book which provides a more in-depth exploration of the method and its principles. Basically, the bullet journal method is a productivity and organization system that involves using a dotted notebook and a specific set of symbols and structures to track and organize your thoughts, ideas, tasks, events, and goals in an analog way. It allows you to customize your journal to fit your specific needs and preferences and provides a flexible system that can help you stay organized and achieve your goals. The bullet journal method can be useful for a wide variety of people including students, professionals, artists, and anyone else who wants to get organized and be more productive. A few characteristics of people who might benefit from using the bullet journal method are you have a lot of tasks, events, and notes to keep track of, and you struggle to stay organized. You like to have a physical notebook or a planner that you can carry with you and refer to throughout the day. You prefer a flexible system that you can customize to fit your needs and preferences. You enjoy the process of journaling or writing things down by hand. You have a system that allows you to be mindful and present in the moment, rather than constantly getting distracted and reacting to notifications and alerts on your mobile devices. Up to this day, I still use the bullet journal method, and I hope that it will help you too. Number 4. As a Man Thinketh by James Allen James Allen once said, a man is literally what he thinks, his character being the complete sum of all his thoughts. As a Man Thinketh is a book written in the early 1900s by James Allen. The main idea of the book is that a person's thoughts and beliefs influence their reality. For example, if a person thinks positively and believes in their ability to succeed, they are more likely to take action and achieve success. On the other hand, if a person thinks negatively and lacks confidence in their abilities, 
they may be less likely to take action and may struggle to achieve their goals. As a man thinketh can change a person's way of thinking by providing them with a new perspective on the role of their thoughts in shaping their life and reality. The book emphasizes the power of positive thinking and the importance of cultivating a positive mental attitude. It suggests that by changing their thoughts and beliefs, a person can change their reality and shape their life in the way they want it to be. By reading the book and reflecting on its ideas, a person may become more aware of the power of their thoughts and may begin to pay more attention to the thoughts they are having. They may also become more intentional about the types of thoughts they choose to think and may work to cultivate a more positive and empowering mindset. Ultimately, as a man thinketh, can help a person to shift their way of thinking in a more positive and productive direction. It's a very easy read and I highly recommend the book. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you like this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have other books you'd like for me to review, leave it in the comments below. Number three, Tiny Habits by Dr. BJ Fogg. The Tiny Habits Method is a way to make small changes of your habits and behaviors that can lead to big improvements in your life. Instead of trying to make huge, overwhelming changes all at once, you focus on small, achievable actions that are easy to do. One of the key ideas behind Tiny Habits is that it's easier to stick with a new habit if it takes very little effort to do so. So, you start by focusing on small, easy actions that you can do consistently. Once you've established a new habit, you can gradually increase the size and scope of your actions over time. For example, if you want to start exercising more, you might set a tiny habit of doing a few push-ups every time you brush your teeth in the morning. Over time, these small actions can add up and help you build the momentum you need to achieve your goals. People change best by feeling good, not by feeling bad. The concept of using positive reinforcement rather than negative reinforcement is a key idea in Tiny Habits. Dr. BJ Fogg emphasizes the importance of focusing on the positive feelings and rewards that come from building new habits rather than dwelling on the negative consequences of not doing so. Overall, Tiny Habits is a great resource for anyone looking to make lasting changes in their life. It provides a step-by-step -step process for building new habits and offers specific examples of how to apply the principles in various areas of life. Number two, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich is a personal development and self-help book by Napoleon Hill that was published in 1937 and has sold millions of copies worldwide. Hill argues that successful people have certain habits and ways of thinking that contribute to their success and that by adopting these habits, anyone can achieve success. One of the key concepts in the book is the idea of a definite purpose or a clear, specific goal that you are working towards. Hill advises that you should set a definite purpose for yourself and take consistent action towards achieving it. He also emphasizes the importance of having a strong support system and of being open to new ideas and learning from others. Another important idea in the book is the concept of the law of attraction which suggests that you can attract success and abundance in your life by focusing your thoughts and energies on what you want. Hill believes that our thoughts and emotions have a powerful influence in the world around us and that by focusing on positive thoughts and feelings, we can manifest things we want in our lives. Overall, Think and Grow Rich is a guide to developing the right mindset and habits to achieve success in any area of life. It is a very influential and popular book, and this is why it is in my top five must read if you are just starting in your journey of self-improvement.
Number one, how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is a classic self-help book that was first published in 1936. It is still popular today because it offers practical advice on how to improve relationships with others and influence people in a positive way. The book is based on the idea that everyone wants to feel valued and appreciated and that by understanding this fundamental human need and adapting your behavior accordingly, you can build strong and positive relationships with others. The book guides you how to build strong relationships with others by being a good listener, showing appreciation, avoiding criticism, showing genuine interest in others, and using positive language and persuasion techniques. This book is useful for those who want to improve their social skills, build better relationships with friends, family, and co-workers, persuade and influence others in a positive way, resolve conflicts effectively, and enhance your personal and professional reputation. Others might find the advice in this book to be too simplistic or not applicable to their personal or professional lives. Some people might have concerns about using the techniques outlined to manipulate or influence others in a way that's not ethical or moral. Personally, the book has helped me become a better communicator as well as improve my personal and professional relationships, and I hope that it works for you too. And that is my personal top five must-read books as a beginner in the self-improvement journey. I hope that this list will help you on your path to self-improvement and become one step closer to the best version of yourself. If you're interested in purchasing any of the books in this video, I included links in the comments below for your convenience. Just a disclaimer that those links are affiliate links and if you use the links and make a purchase, I may get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any feedbacks or suggestions of books for future content, let me know in the comments below. Cheers!